Today is January 19th. My name is Hunter, and we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from the Revised Common Lectionary to reflect and to pray. We start today in Psalm 62, verses 5 through 12. Then we go to Jeremiah 20, verses 7 through 13. And we'll finish in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. We're reading from the New Living Translation. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 62, starting in verse 5. Let all that I am wait quietly before the Lord, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on the scales, together they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power, O God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. Jeremiah 20, starting in verse 7. O Lord, you misled me, and I allowed myself to be misled. You are stronger than I am, and you overpowered me. Now I am mocked every day. Everyone laughs at me. When I speak, the words burst out, Violence and destruction, I shout. So these messages from the Lord have made me a household joke. But if I say I'll never mention the Lord or speak his name, his word burns in my heart like a fire. It's like a fire in my bones. I am worn out trying to hold it in. I can't do it. I've heard the many rumors about me. They call me the man who lives in terror. They threaten... If you say anything, we will report it. Even my old friends are watching me, waiting for a fatal slip. He will trap himself, they say, and then we will get our revenge on him. But the Lord stands beside me like a great warrior. Before him, my persecutors will stumble. They cannot defeat me. They will fail and be thoroughly humiliated. Their dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of heaven's armies, you test those who are righteous and you examine the deepest thoughts and secrets. Let me see your vengeance against them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for though I was poor and needy, he rescued me from my oppressors. 2 Peter 3, 1-7 This is my second letter to you, dear friends, and in both of them I have tried to stimulate your wholesome thinking and refresh your memory. I want you to remember what the Holy Prophet said long ago and what our Lord and Savior commanded through your apostles. Most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come, mocking the truth and following their own desires. They will say, What happened to the promise that Jesus is coming again? From before the time of our ancestors, everything has remained the same since the world was first created. They deliberately forget that God made the heavens long ago by the word of his command. And he brought the earth out from the water and surrounded it with water. Then he used the water to destroy the ancient world with a mighty flood. And by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been stored up for fire. They are being kept for the day of judgment, when ungodly people will be destroyed. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection.
Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit on all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I might not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive, in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are born unto eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, for your immeasurable love and your redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and the hope of glory. Lord, we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by the giving up of ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for spending another day with us at the Daily Lectionary Podcast. Let me also invite you to join us at our flagship podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we read through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to see and be transformed by the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Now let's go forward in God's joy. Let his joy be your strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved.